Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video here on Jurassic Collectibles. Tonight we are taking a look at a new addition to the Hammond Collection, the Geostern Bergia. And you can see that this figure comes adorned with the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary branding. Really, really cool uh, looking pterosaur. You can see from the Lost World, inspired by the fact that I believe the Pteranodons at the end of the Lost World were originally going to be the Geostern Bergia. As you can see on the back just there, while the Pteranodon may rule the skies of Isla Sauna, the Geostern Bergia makes a memorable pre-production appearance and displays an impressive wingspan with a longer neck, beak and head crest. So really cool to see the Hammond collection embracing things from pre-production. I think this is an absolutely awesome pterosaur and really a cool addition to the Hammond collection. So I'm excited to get this one out of the box. Uh, I will say, just as a little heads up, I have seen a lot of commentary around this figure and unfortunately the fact that paint rub is a persistent issue for this animal. So you can see there is the Geo out of the packaging, if we angle our camera down, it's got a really really nice colour scheme to it, uh, I am quite nervous about the paint rub we are going to endure during the course of this review, but we will take a look at the animal regardless. So, bringing the arms down, wow, you can see... The Geostern Bergia, when it focuses, is a massive aerial creature. This thing looks awesome. The level of detail in those wings is wonderful. You can see there the camera really picking out the texture. This is why I'm so glad I have the new camera for this texture work. These wings are made of rubber, so you can see you can bend them get some really cool poses out of them if you wanted to do a walking pose for the Geo and then we do have the little arms just there com complete with paintwork for the claws which is awesome and they are on a hinge and a swivel so you can articulate them as well now the actual wings themselves are on a hinge and then obviously they bend as well you can see unfortunately there if we get that in focus a little example of where paint rub has occurred. I've seen lots of paint rub on this one around the neck and you can see a little bit has occurred there as well, unfortunately. But luckily for me, the version of this animal I've got doesn't appear to suffer from too much paint rub and it is a very cool animal. You can see when we hit the light there, the multi-colours on the beak, the browns around the base of it then opening up to give you a better look at the tongue and the gums. You've got that really, really nice eye just there. The actual crest has got some really nice additional paintwork in it. And you can angle this back and then angle the neck forward a little bit. We'll just check that that has. So that has unfortunately caused some more paint rub as you can see just there so really tricky figure to pose this one i would say unfortunately do not experiment with posing it too much if you do not want paint rub to occur you can see there is some nice blue paint that continues down the back of the figure you've got some nice browns and they then fade into this off-white color which is used for the feet and you can see that the feet have also got black claws now this does appear to have articulation which is positioned well enough to get it into a standing pose. I'm not going to play with that on camera, I will play with it off camera and maybe include some photos at the end, um, but there is a good degree of articulation in those legs there as well. Um, and really, that is in a nutshell everything on the Geo Sternbergia. It's a really, really cool addition. Um, it's a very unique addition, very iconic, I think, for a lot of fans who know the behind the scenes story of this animal. Um, so I think it is a welcome inclusion in the line. I think the paint rub is a massive shame as it detracts from what is otherwise a beautiful figure um, and one which I'm sure a lot of fans will want to pick up. 
So that's my thoughts on the Geo Sternbergia guys. Again, not a particularly long review, but it's always hard to review these pterosaurs. Um, I want to keep it interesting for you, so hopefully making it shorter makes it a little bit more engaging. With that said, do let me know your thoughts on the Geo Sternbergia in the comments below. Like, favourite and subscribe as always. And until the next video, take care and have a great week.